Hello, it's Donna from Thread Treasures. Um, I had done a video just a little bit earlier on how to add a new color chart to Embird, and the one that I added was for Metro Pro Thread that can be found on MetroEMB.com, and um, I actually created a a thread chart for Hatch, the Welcome Hatch software for uh, Metro um, when they had their Metro Classic line which they no longer carry um, so right now I'm just gonna show you the steps of what I do to uh, create a color chart um, for Hatch so uh, I think it's under software settings there's an option called manage thread charts Okay, and if you want to add a new thread chart, first you need to do is say create and give it a name. This one's going to be called Metro Pro. And when you click OK, it's going to go over here and this will be blank. Don't worry, we're going to change that right now. So, actually, here is the thread chart that I made for um, Embird. And it's got the color, the name, or the manufacturer, uh, the color name, not the color number. And then the red, green, and blue numbers on here. So the difference between it, this file and the one that's going to be the the one that Floriani uses is Floriani has after the name has a little um, like a a comma notice this is the Metro Pro this is just the Metro let me see if I can get the here's the Metro Pro one so okay we we'll got we have this up now so you see the TCH which is the file that actually um, Hatch uses has this A where the one that Embird uses does not so what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna copy all of this file I have to actually create the color chart in Hatch first so I'm gonna copy this okay and then I'm going to go where I have my hatch software installed and the thread charts are in the res directory and when I created the Metro Pro it created a file and notice right now it's 0 KB so I'm going to actually tell it that I want to edit this file and the first time that you edit it's it may say um, uh, I don't know how to edit this file you should select let me choose and then open it with notepad don't open it with word because word puts formatting stuff in there that won't work use notepad so I've copied all of this I'm gonna paste it over here okay so now this looks exactly the same this has 146 colors that's all they have right now and this is all 146 I don't need that file anymore so this is the one that is for your hatch software you do a save okay so now if you look you're in your hatch where your hatch software is this file is no longer 0 KB it's 6 KB so what does that mean it means that the file is populated and the system knows about it so now if I go and I say manage thread charts and I do Metro Pro because that's the one, last one I can't, left it with all of a sudden they're all populated and you can use them the way that you want to this is actually my marathon threads 
um, but you can actually use them and um, do everything that you want to do uh, assign the colors to marathon you know or your metro pros and stuff like that so that's how you you add a actual new thread chart to hatch so if you wanted to get rid of it after that you just go in and delete it and it would be gone okay that's how you add new ones to will come hatch hope you found this a little bit helpful uh, and if you want me to make the metro pro uh, thread chart for welcome hatch available drop me a message below and i'll see what i can do thanks very much bye